Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use YouTube to generate a caption file that you can then upload to LinkedIn when you upload your videos to LinkedIn. So what you need to do first is upload your video to YouTube by selecting the video that you want. and upload it. It may take a while depending on the size. Once it's done you can give it a relevant title and don't forget to put in a description and your tags. I'm not going to do that today just for speed of showing you how to do it. Sorry about my voice by the way, I've got a cold. And then publish it. Okay, then what you need to do is go into your um, video library and select the video that you want, there it is. And then we're going to edit video. Um, now this has, this will bring up the new um, layout, but what we're gonna do is go to the classic creator studio and then go to subtitles slash closed captions. Now, what you can do at this point is you can wait for YouTube to generate the captions for you, but I'm just going to type them in. I'm going to select English, UK, um, and then I'm going to create new subtitle. Uh, I'm going to play it through, listen to what's being said and type the captions in. Want to make better social videos with just a smartphone? I'm going to skip through this process a little bit in this video so you don't have to watch me type the whole thing in. Now I've done it, I'm going to just play it back, make sure that all the captions are in the right place and they're all spelled correctly. You'll notice I already added some speech bubble captions during the video editing process and these are embedded into the video so the viewer can't turn them on or off. What I'm adding here are the captions at the bottom on the black bar. The reason I'm showing you this process is so that you don't actually have to add the captions during the edit, you can bypass that whole process if you're uploading your videos to YouTube, LinkedIn or Facebook because Facebook also has its own caption generator. And this can save you a lot of time during the video editing stage. I've written a blog post if you want to know more about this that explains why you might want to add captions during the edit or why you might want to just add them on YouTube, LinkedIn or Facebook. You can find the link to the blog post in the description of this video. So then we need to publish the captions. And there we go. Then I want to get back to that um, caption interface. So I'm going to click back on English UK. Now, as you can see, there's already an option there, English automatic, and that's YouTube um, automatically generating the captions. But because I've put them in, I'm going to go back to the ones that I created. And then I'm going to go here to actions, to the drop down menu, and then you'll see .srt, that one there. And that's the file that you want. So download that. And then what we're going to do is go over to LinkedIn. And I'm on my LinkedIn company page, but you can do it on your personal page as well. So I'm going to select the video and upload it natively, not sharing from YouTube. Then we're going to click on the pen editing tool and there's the option to select SRT file. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and find the file that I just downloaded from YouTube, which is that one and open it and then I'm going to save that and it might take a little while to um, process um, in the meantime don't forget to write some text here and if you wanted to you could also transcribe the whole video here in the in the post um, especially if it contains keywords that your viewers might be searching for because it's just all extra opportunity for the keywords to be found in a search. And then once you've done that, 
click post. This again might take a little while. And uh, it says post successful. So let's have a look, it's processing. Um, that again might take a bit of time. Let it do its thing, don't be impatient. And there we have it, there's the video. Let's play it and see what the captions look like. And there they are, so it works. Now, what you've got to remember here is that LinkedIn is gonna put the captions on with this black bar behind it. So you might wanna think about that when you're framing and composing your shots, because what you don't want to do is obscure any action or any um, name captions that you might have added during the edit. And then what that means now is that these captions are now searchable and it also means the viewer can decide whether they want them on or off. So that's how you use YouTube to generate captions for LinkedIn videos.